Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss a question that was asked in a Microsoft online assessment test. So I am picking this question from the lead code discuss section where this question was posted in July 20, uh, on July 20, 2022. So it is not that old question and uh, yeah, this question is uh, difficult to understand. The description of the question is uh, has a very vague understanding of the problem statement. But uh, in this video we will divide this problem statement uh, line by line and understand each part of the problem also guys uh, i am trying to make this type of videos where i pick one of the company online assessment uh, from the discuss section of the lead code and try to solve that question so guys if you want to make any specific uh, company oa or interview coding questions uh, then do let me know in the comment section or if you have some coding questions with you then also share with me you can either share the google drive link or uh, share the discuss section link in the comments which you think that I should must solve. So yeah guys, show uh, your support to this video series so that it will help me to get the idea what type of videos you require. So, so yeah guys, now beginning with today's question. So here the question says that a garbage truck collect plastic, metal and glass. Three types of garbages. So there is a garbage truck that can collect three, three types of garbages. And there are N homes. Okay. Now you are given what array D that consists of a time taken by a truck to carry particular garbage from the ith home so this d array consists value that is nothing but a time taken by a truck to carry particular garbage from a particular house or the ith house and there is one another array t that consists of string values m g or p representing metal glass and plastic stating that the type of the garbage present in the house so this states the type of the garbage present in that house so let's say if it is m p m that means this house zeroth index house has garbage metal plastic and metal so two units of metal and one unit of plastic garbage and we need to re uh, return the minimum time required by the truck to collect all the garbages and then return back to its garage okay now here in the first test case if we are given d as 3 to 4 and t as mpm blank and g so guys although i have simplified the question part but you first try to read the complete description by yourself you try to read this complete description that what the explanation part is trying to tell try to understand the question yourself and then move on with my explanation part so yeah guys read this uh, explanation part for the first test case as well as try to go through the second test case i have read the explanation part two to three times to get the understanding so here what uh, our output is 19 but how we reach to 19 see so first let's say there is one metal truck it starts it goes to all the houses and pick the garbage now uh, the time to reach the zeroth house is nothing but three unit okay it is three unit time to reach the zeroth house and adding adding to it on the zeroth house there are two units of garbage metal so this metal truck will only uh, collect metal garbage so yeah the time required to collect two units of uh, metal garbage will be two further uh, it will also return back from the zeroth home to its garbage deposit deposition place so yeah for that it will again require three unit of time to go back so it so what this truck did this metal truck did it came to zeroth index home right so coming uh, to zeroth index home will take three units of time plus two units of time collecting and again three units of time going back so total it took eight units of time okay so if you now take a look for a plastic truck it will take three unit of time to reach zeroth house plus one unit of time to uh, pick the plastic because there is only one plastic at the zeroth home and three units to return back so total seven and for a glass truck three units of time to reach zeroth home then again two units to reach first home and four unit of time to reach second home see three two and four so that's why and there is one unit of glass plus uh, glass garbage here so it will take one unit to pick that glass garbage then again it will return so that is nothing but four plus two plus three right so total this glass truck will take 19 unit of garbage and that is a maximum of from all the three trucks so yeah it is 19 so if you look at the question part then it is uh, not clearly stated that what we have to do but uh, this understanding i got from the explanation here uh, given uh, along with this test cases so there is a, one another uh, test cases with the uh, explanation that matches the logic of this explanation so yeah, now looking at the second test case here you are given uh, d like 211 uh, 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 and yeah, this is the garbage present at the i home 
now the metal truck will go there is uh, no metal garbage so from here uh, zeroth index it will then go to first index no metal then second index then third index so here there is a metal so it will pick right so and what time it took to come here till here 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so total 5 units of time and so yeah in the return to go back it will again take 5 units of time so total time it took is 11 units now for a plastic truck uh, it will take 2 units to reach zeroth index then again 1 unit to uh, reach first index then 2 unit of time to pick this to plastic again 2 unit of, again 2 unit uh, one unit to reach the second home and then 2 unit to pick uh, this garbage and then return home so yeah four is the return home so total 12 for this plastic and now glass will similarly take 11 and the maximum from all this is 12 as you can see 12 is our output so the maximum would be taken by a plastic truck that is nothing but 12 so guys if you look at the question uh, this question then if there is no uh, such thing stated here everything is very much vague there is no clear understanding given in this question part but if you look at the explanation part then you will understand some what uh, what this question is trying to tell and what we have to do in this question so the look at the test cases also read the explanation part what does this test case trying to tell so yeah if you do, do these things if you keep patience and try to understand the question then it will be very much easy for you to solve this type of question now guys you can see here that there are three different trucks they both have to move from one um, house from from their let's say from their uh from the starting point to all the houses house 1 house 2 house 3 and then again they return back to their original uh, starting point correct so this is the simple thing that all the tr trucks trying to do right now to solve this question what we have to do is what i did is see i first uh, use three for loops first for loop second for loop and third for loop one is for uh, uh, first is for plastic second is for metal and third is for glass truck so for three different trucks i took three different for loops and uh, tried to apply the brute force approach so guys now directly jumping on to the coding part because the question uh, is simple right once you have understood what you have to do the approach is very much simple so there is nothing to discuss in the approach part so that's why i directly jump to the code here code is also very much simple and easy to understand uh, uh, so yeah first i took some of the variables so p travel is nothing but the time taken by a plastic tr truck to travel see here i will take two variables one variable to track the travel time and another variable to take peak time see travel time and peak time i will separate this two time for each truck plastic truck metal truck and glass truck because in the we have to also make the return journey right so yeah why to calculate again what is the time taken for in a return journey we can simply make the twice of time taken in this first journey right so that's why the return time travel uh, we should not be calculated and that's why i separated out the travel time a variable and peak time variable i am storing both the values in separate variables so yeah as you can see here at the end i can simply make a twice of travel time because that too much time would be also required in the return right so yeah i simply use separate variables now further what i did here is so let's say you you are having some uh some uh, whole houses like this now uh, initially we are at zeroth index so at zeroth index we found the plastic p so what i what we did is so so we are also iterating this string so this this is string iteration for each home uh, there is some string right so we have to iterate this string to uh, to check how many count of plastic garbage is there so for so for that what i did is i took uh, this inner for loop where i keep updating plastic pick that is how many units of plastic that we have to pick further if uh if here at this point there is a plastic garbage then i am updating the travel time till to reach till here right i am updating the travel time so, uh, so so after this for the next for loop we are here we will pick this plastic and update the travel time and for the third loop we are here do we have plastic garbage no then do we need to travel this see here initially from the starting point this is the starting point we travel to this home then to this home then to this but do we require to travel this home since there is no plastic and this is the last home no this is not required so that's why i use a separate time variable to store the uh, first travel time so not to add this travel time from the house at index 1 to index 2 what i did is i use one time variable so inside this time variable i was i stored the travel time and whenever any house has 
a plastic garbage at that point only i updated the travel time for the plastic because we will check this home and see if there is a plastic garbage or not but since there is no plastic garbage so yeah we don't have to add this distance from the house at index 1 to 2 so yeah in order to not to do this and not to repeat this thing what i did is i only update the travel time of a plastic truck when we got the plastic garbage right only at that point i update the plastic truck travel time okay as i simply store each time in the temp and keep updating the temp okay got it and yeah at the end for the retention i simply do it twice the travel time of for the plastic truck so yeah i hope you guys have some now somewhat understanding what i'm trying to do i have separated the variables for pick, uh, picking the garbage and for traveling the truck second thing there can uh, there can be a situation like this where there is no garbage at the end house so why to travel to that house so in so uh, in order to not to travel what i did is i only added a travel time whenever we found the plastic garbage so if we don't found a plastic garbage then this travel time won't be added to our variable simple it is so yeah this will always give our our us a correct answer now similarly i again what i did i niche i change the value of this time to zero and use this time to update this metal truck travel time and further the same code goes for the glass truck travel correct so yeah i hope you guys now understood that what we are trying to do here the same if you understood one of the for loops then the next two are as same it is and at the end i am taking the maximum of all this maximum of plastic truck uh, travel time plus plastic truck peak time and a maximum of all these three and returning to our answer so guys now if you think of a time complexity the time complexity for the solution is we go of n into n into m plus n into m plus n into m because let's say if a string is if the string out of length m and total at our n houses and this is the time complexity and we are doing this for loops three times so yeah this is the total time complexity can now can we reduce this time complexity is it possible that in one only for loops like this we can compute the travel time for all the three trucks is it possible so yeah by thinking on that what i did is i simply took three different variables a uh, uh, temporary variables for the plastic truck temporary variables for the metal and temporary variables for glass see these three time variable we are using here see i have need this is these three we are using right i took this uh, three separate variables and only use one for loop so yeah now what we are doing we are updating the temporary variable for this plastic metal and glass truck but updating the truck travel time whenever we get the same specific type of plastic so if we get m then only we will update the m travel and m pick if we get g then only update g travel and g pick right and at the end make all these values twice for the return right we have to also add the return time so yeah and at the end take the maximum of all this so guys if you look at the coding part then it is very much simple here the difficult part was to understand the question and understand what the test cases are trying to tell so yeah make sure you patiently read the question try to understand the question first try to understand all the test cases that are given in the question then only jump to the coding part coding would be very much simple if you have question understanding so yeah make sure you do that well and not talking about the time complexity it is obvious here the time complexity is nothing but we go of n into m and space complexity is nothing but big of one as we are not storing anything so yeah guys that's all for this video if you have any more suggestion uh, of related to this type of video then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you